Good morning everyone, this is Diane Murray at Southern Art Gallery and today we are working on a project for our watercolor class um, that is a, a good example of glazing. So we have these three peppers here and I have laid down a wash of lemon yellow and a wash of uh, bright red which is a Sennelier color. It's also pyro red in uh, other brands. And I've laid down the shadow. Basically, this is just a, a easy little exercise in glazing. So now what we're gonna do is, we'll go ahead and work on this one. So we'll go ahead and wet the entire pepper, and this is uh, for my students as a reference. So we're not going to wet the stem just yet, we're just going to wet the uh, pepper itself. And that's so we can have um, soft edges, and we'll go ahead and wet the shadow as well into there. And this is a yellow pepper. So the only thing we're gonna do here is just drop in some of the darker yellows. So we will use a uh, nickel azo. And then just looking at the photograph, I'll just lay in the shadows. And we've got the core shadow here, paying attention to where the, um, I think the sun is pretty much coming from this direction, from it's almost backlit, but it's, it's lit from the top as well. And so we'll go ahead and drop that in. This is a number 12 Skoda brush, Versatile, that I'm using. Uh, Skoda is my or my they it is my favorite brand of uh, of uh, brushes. Okay, and we'll come in here, and this is a cast shadow, so let's add just the tiniest bit of red to that mixture, because that is going to be a cast shadow from that. This is an orange uh, bell pepper here. So I'm just gonna drop this in like that. And our shadow is also on the orange side here. So we change to a smaller brush. And then we'll just soften that shadow out and blend that back into here. Your cast shadows are very soft on this particular um, photograph. So I'm just gonna make that water so that all blends. It actually should blend up here and come down there. Let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, and I want that edge softer. So we'll just blot that. So we want these uh, shadows very, very soft. This actually comes up that way a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna come back and soften this because these are very subtle. The shading on this is quite subtle. These are highlights that we've left there. Okay, so I think we'll leave that one for just a minute. Let's bring a little bit of shadow up in there. This bell pepper really needs a little more orange in it, so I think we'll go over that with another glaze. Now this one has the lemon yellow on it, so we're gonna go over it with a little, um, 
a very washy um, mixture of the uh, bright red. Let's see if we can get that orange to pop out. This is quite dark over here. I'm being careful not to touch that wet edge. I think actually um, that yellow, this orange is a bit, this uh, red is a bit too strong. So I'm going to wash that out. Soften that a bit because we need it to be more on the orange side. This is quite an orange that we have on this uh, bell pepper. So I'm thinking the red is too red. That's more like the orange color we need right there. We'll go back in a little bit, make that darker in a bit. Let's get rid of that hard edge. And we've got this little bit back here. Okay. Still thinking that's too red. So I think we'll go actually drop another layer of uh, lemon yellow on top of this red. See if we can get the orange we're trying to get. That pie roll and that bright red are such such a, a red color that maybe we'll try um, quinacridone magenta instead. We go back in. Just try to make this um, shadow in there. We've got a real dark shadow over here on this side. And that's a better orange. That a little bit. The thing about glazes is you really have to have patience with this. You really have to take your time there. There's the orange we're looking for. And we really want that right in there. And up in here, there's a dark up in here, right along that edge. There's also a dark up in here, right behind this um, pepper here, that section of the pepper. And let's wash that out. Soften that. Now this one over here, because it's primarily red. We're just going to push the, um, it, there's a much, a lot of darker red up right in here and around the base. So for that, we'll take a little of the um, bright red with a little burnt sienna. And we'll drop that in up here. And it's almost like a half circle there that just comes right around this particular part of the um, it actually goes over here as well though. Comes to about right like that. Then we have a dark edge here. That 
comes out about right there. And let's soften that. Soften these edges. And this is how we give dimension and form to our um, whatever we're painting. This, I think these are called lobes of the bell pepper. But they, um, this is quite dark here. We're gonna drop that in. And then it's quite dark up here. You really just have to practice um, seeing. Then this is dark as well. As is this. This one is it's all quite a bit darker here. Okay, and we'll just put a little more red in that since I think that's a little too much burnt sienna there in that, in that little shadow. So let's wash that out. Soften that shadow a bit. This has quite a bit more red in it because this is a reflection of this pepper. It's a cast, it's also the shadow of this, but it, there's a cast shadow from this pepper as well. And even this uh, pepper over here has a little bit of an orange cast to it. Those shadows come right up there, kind of like that. It's really important for your shadow to touch your object let this dry and while that's drying I think we'll work on the stems the stems are quite a bright green so let's just use a little wash of ultramarine and see if we can get a green there on that stem The problem you have when you're glazing with lemon yellow is it's such a soft color that it's, um, there, that's a green. Okay, that should come down square though. And there's the tiniest bit of green in here for some reason. Maybe that's coming out from that stem there. Okay, so let's drop this one in. So it may require um, going over it with lemon yellow again to get our green to show up. Now this stem is quite a bit darker. And greener over here. So this will be our first glaze. This is all green in here. Okay, I'm actually going to dry the whole thing and then I will be back and we'll move forward. 